So we are going to use linear algebra to uh, analyze um, an economy. And this is a very simplified economy, okay, but it'll help us understand uh, how these things work. So in the diagram, we've got three sectors of the economy. We've got uh, agriculture, energy, and manufacturing. And we're going to assume, again, it's simplified. We're going to assume that this is a closed economy. Uh, everything's just flowing back and forth between these three uh, sectors. And maybe they're connected in some way. So we have that agriculture is outputting 20% to energy, it's outputting 40% to manufacturing, and it's keeping 40%. And then energy is outputting 40% to agriculture, 50% to manufacturing, and it's keeping 10%. And then finally manufacturing, it's outputting 50% to agriculture, 30% to energy, and it's keeping 20%. If you'll notice, all, all of those outputs equal 100%. So the way to um, analyze this is to first make a table. And we'll make the table in such a way that it'll help us uh, write equations and then write a system of equations. So let's make the table. Output from. And then we'll have a column that's output two. So we have agriculture, energy, manufacturing, and then we're going to output to, again, agriculture, energy, and manufacturing. Let's see if I can draw some straight lines here to help us. OK. So let's look at output uh, from agriculture. So output is 20% to energy. So I'll put 0.2 for 20%. 40% uh, to manufacturing, so we'll get a 0.4. And it keeps 40%, so 40% goes to uh, itself. And then uh, for energy, the output to agriculture is 40%. Uh, it keeps 10%. And to manufacturing, it's 50%. Then for manufacturing, uh, it outputs 50% to agriculture, 30% to energy, and it keeps 20%. If you add up your columns, you should get 100% or, or it should equal one. So these give us a, a way to write an equation for the outputs. So let's start with uh, agriculture. Um, you know, 40% of agriculture plus 40% of energy plus 50% of machinery is going to equal the total output to agriculture. Um, agric agriculture is keeping 40% of its own. It's uh, getting 40% of energies. It's getting 50% of manufacturing. That's going to be its total. Now, again, when we're looking at uh, systems of equations, we would like um, all the variables on the left and the constants on the right. So I'm going to subtract this A from both sides. If I if I take 0.4a and subtract 1a, then I'll get negative 0.6a. So you just make this little adjustment here to set it equal to zero. So now we'll do energy. For energy, um, 0.2 agriculture plus 0.1 energy plus 0.3 machinery is equal to the total for energy. If I subtract E from both sides, I'll get negative 0.9 E. And then I've got 0.3 M, and that's equal to zero. 
And then lastly, for machinery, uh, 0.4 agriculture plus 0.5 energy plus 0.2 manufacturing equals the total for manufacturing. And then subtract M. We get negative 0.8 M equals zero. So we're going to use these three equations in our system. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a matrix. So I've got agriculture, energy, machinery, and it's going to be augmented with zero. Uh, your main diagonal should have negative values in it. And I'll reduce this in a calculator. And I got this, 100, zero, 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 one, zero, and then negative 57 over 46, and negative 14 over 23, zero. Again, it's augmented with zero. So again, we have these three variables, agriculture, energy, and machinery. Machinery is free. So if I knew the machinery um, total, then I would know the other two. So let's, let's write this out. So A is equal to 57 over 46 M. E is 14 over 23 M. And then M is equal to whatever it is. So just as an example, let's say that M uh, was 46 million. 46 million dollars, okay. Uh, so that would, that 46 would cancel with the 23 and, and this would be, uh, energy would have 28 million. And it would, the 46 would cancel with this 46, I would get agriculture would have 57 million. So that's just one example. So you could also, you know, try different, uh, you might have different parameters. You might know the manufacturing already. And if you did, then you would know what's going on in the rest of the economy.